So nine times out of 10, you have a Dozada form that is boring because until I discovered a plugin tool that allows me to create these forms, yeah, you just didn't know what you were doing. This is the Dubzato form. As you can see, this is a link to a Dubzato form up here. This is just a transformed Dubzato form. And I want to take you through the journey as I had created Dub's Pretty Links and exactly how I did that and what it means and what exactly it does. So the question that a lot of people ask, is this a Dubzato form? Yep. Yes, it is. And what this is offering are different things. So they're offering Dubsado integration, a custom branding, logic conditions, custom widgets, and custom plugins. I can also add videos. As you can see, this is the video explaining to everyone what this link is, and then the pricing as to how it can be created. Now, I made this probably in 20... 22 so this is an old form but this does have conditional logic as you can see here and it has the next steps and you can still see that this is a great process because you just send it and it gets to the dubsado custom like crm all right i wanted to actually talk through a few things because i wanted to take you through the journey of all of the ones that i created and show you just how it looks so now some of these forms are no longer in use but i wanted to show you where i started and where i ended up thus far and these are just showcasing some of my favorite ones so this was actually an old form as you can see i tried to do the whole thing and i was glad that they kind of gave me the opportunity to um do this form but oh my gosh i feel like so ashamed with this because you can see how beginner this was and then i kind of elevated into a different space and you can see the transitions as it comes in um and you can see that you can actually click into a space and it does something so it made me feel even better i was like oh my gosh i'm doing something and these aren't conditional because she didn't need conditional logic but you can actually click into them you can actually make um, selections and then you can submit it and every design i always put that it was created by me even though some of them i'm not proud of and then this one was one that i took it up a bit and i said okay this is for an event space, and so um, this was showcasing more of the gallery for the use of the space. You can actually click into it, and you can, you know, utilize the pictures to kind of tell a story. And so this was one of them that I was proud of. Um, this is based in New York, and so she had custom colors, and I was like, oh, great, this is cute, this is nice. I also added this slider here, because you could do gallery sliders, and it was just a phenomenal space, because um, she didn't really have a lot of feedback because she loved it but again it was not my best work then i came to this space where i still utilize the same layout here but you can see it's more custom with colors on you know the siding because code didn't have to come in place um, and this replicated the website of the client a little bit better so i started to use more of a widget you know update and I did all the things. She had a form here, but moved to a different location. She is the bomb. So as you can see, I kind of went through this process of even creating um, drop down uh, FAQs because it was just one of the best spaces that you could do. You could see this video. So just creating now a more website based um, form felt literally amazing so you can see the graphics you can see all of the different waves and the animations and it takes you into a whole story right then it was this one so this one was actually supposed to be before the one that you just saw but it definitely came into place because I was able to do timelines and just create the experiences for this client and so you're able to see like the form, you're able to see the animations, you're able to see the process. And this one was also um, something that I loved at the time, but then I elevated. I elevated into one that was a favorite of mine because this is for a doula and as you can see there's transitions there's price breakouts there's um still you have like the animations here this is specific to her so all of these this literally is the replication of her packaging um like her her welcome packet actually her a pricing packet so all of this where you know it's custom images it's making sure that things transition um and then at the bottom 
you have the meet the team so you're able to slide through the team and see all the things that you know the team has to offer and it continues to a second section here and then it has the commitment so it's still showing the website view but then you have this beautiful um you know tear here where you have the photos so what i create is the Zotto forms um, on a custom scale i use a plugin feature that has um, the ability to create these widgets and these animations and i do them at a very fair cost so let me go back to the screen for one of them, it's $250, and if you want to double them up, you have the pricing there. But for the most part, I really, 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 really enjoy them because they've gotten a ton better. Um, I am excited because even ones that I haven't shown here um, because of NDAs that I've signed, um, but because I've elevated the way that I make these, I literally got more and more creative with them. So if you have questions about Dub's Pretty Links, let me know. Yeah.